So for you, how does uh, this action in Charlottesville fit into the broader frame of the Fellowship of Reconciliation? Well, the Fellowship of Reconciliation, part of what makes it so unique is not that we're you know, a civil rights organization or a peace organization. And it's not that we're really an interfaith organization because there are so many of those around the country. But our shtick and our underlying theme is nonviolent resistance because of our faith-based perspective. And that's the one thing that, that really sets us apart from every other interfaith organization or social justice organization is that we have, those, we have that component, but we also bring it because of our spiritual roots. You know, so all of our prophets were nonviolent resistors. They used the concept of nonviolence. They were community organizers. Um, they used the principles and the tactics. I mean, you know, Jesus was the ultimate nonviolent resistor. Um, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Prophet Moses, you know, stood up to an oppressor. So a lot of these tactics are used today. You know, um, Prophet Muhammad's grandson, Imam Hussein. You know, he's often been referred to um, by Gandhi, you know, and Dr. King learned from Gandhi. And we, we reach into to their spiritual practices because without, without any spirituality, it would be an oxymoron in the, the work that faith-based activists do because A, it's very, very draining. So the minute you start tripping, you have to rely on something, <laughs> whatever path it is, to, uh, to harmony within yourself, you know. Um, and you also have a basis for it. You know, it's not just a story that you hear in the civil rights movement. It's a story as part of our heritage of humanity, you know, with regards to all of the prophets, you know, whether it be Buddha, you know, whether it be Guru Nanak, whether it be, you know, Shiva. So uh, there, is, there is a familiarity with it, and there's also a strong familiar lineage with the practice of nonviolence. And I think that's what makes the principles of fellowship of reconciliation always relevant because no matter what situation you're in um, with regards to fighting things of injustice you can always draw upon things that give you purpose in life and I think that's why Charlottesville is very momentous I believe for the broader scope of FOR. <laughs>